Hey, what's up? It's Brian hanging out here at Rockfest with the guys from Pop People. How are you guys doing? Yeah! What's going on? Doing great. <laughs> Happy birthday, first and foremost. Hey, thank you very much. Can't think of a better place to spend it. How old are you today, Matt? I'm old enough to party. Old enough to party. But not old enough to know any better. That's a that's a good age to be. <laughs> and uh, you guys are playing today uh, on the main stage, of course, 5 o'clock start for Pop Evil. And uh, going to be a little sweaty out there. You guys are no strangers to playing outdoors, though, right? It's going to be warm, and I was pretty happy to see that we're playing a 75-minute set. I mean, like, every band playing is really getting a substantial amount of time, and that's awesome. Rather than have 400 bands, you have, like... 50 bands play a full set and i think that's awesome i'm excited yeah rockfest really does it right here because they the, the stage times are are the state that's it i mean if you're not out there at five o'clock they will literally pick you up pete the 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 bouncer guy back there you, you must run into pete the giant guy he'll literally pick your entire band up and just carry you guys out there on stage he was overly excited uh some of the guys were too to unload the trailer like i've never seen hands be so it's time to go! And I'm like, I'm out of the way. This guy's fired up, and I'm not ready for this. They've got to get everybody in and out because apparently Kiss has got, like, 15 trailers and buses. They're bringing, like, 90 people. It's crazy. They've Jeez. got, like, a huge amount of people coming with them. Do you guys have an entourage? How many? At least five. Five? <laughs> 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 yeah, that's you guys. Are maybe not as maybe not as many as Kiss, but probably <laughs> hardcore partiers, right? Like, actually, uh, like two of them, like two of them don't even drink. Yeah, our our crew, everyone. It's really weird. So many have so many of us have different things in common, but it seems to work out. Some people like we have certain people that don't drink at all, and certain people that partake in other things, and people don't do anything else. And it's it's a pretty eclectic group, but it works. We make it work. Yeah, speaking of drinking, we're doing shots for Matt's birthday. You got uh, the crown on the bus, and you guys are going to be uh, imbibing that later on? You better believe it. What time is bus call for you? Are you going to end up in the campsites? Because Lizzie and Joe, uh, I think from Hailstorm, they ended up out in the campsites. And I know LeJean and those guys, when they're here at Rockfest, they end up in the campsites. That's where it's at, man. Those late-night party people out there are crazy. I like the sound of that. Yeah, we're, we're pretty notorious for hanging out and getting down with the fans and stuff, too. So I imagine there's going to be a lot of that going on. The we're Kiss, here till like, 2 o'clock. The Kiss Army people, they've got a whole setup with, like, strippers and, like, dunk tanks and everything. Point me in that direction. I'll, I'll let you know. I'll get their campsite, and I'll say... Quick about the uh, the new CD, Onyx, and uh, it's... One, first number one, do you guys get, like, an award or a plaque or, like, just, like, a sheet of, like, an email? Do you print off an email? How does that work? It's uh, funny you say that. I think our label is coming out to a show we've got coming up in Atlantic City, and they're going to present us with plaques. And, you know, even though it's, you know, it's not a platinum record, you know, or a gold album or something like that, even still, like, a number one, I, I feel like we got to take the time to kind of pat ourselves on the back. We've been, you know, we're on our third album now, and we've had a lot of, you know, uh, songs within the top ten and top five, and you know it's a, it's a big accomplishment for us. Yeah, you guys have had one. like you know, and for for most bands, you got or for a lot of bands, you guys have had a, quite a bit of turnover early in your career as far as you know members coming and going and stuff. So you know to reach that kind of status with a number one single with all that turnover and the success you guys have had, that's that's impressive. That's important. So it's good that your your label is going to come out and recognize you guys. Are you each going to get a plaque? Is it going to go one plaque in the bus? Everybody like one in the in the pooper is one going on. In the, in the, in the, on the, on the, on the, I'm on not the sure. Wall you know, they, I think they want to keep it a little bit of a surprise. They're probably mad that we even know that much. So we'll find out then. Um, but if we all get our individual ones, I'll definitely put mine in the bathroom. And next where single, I spend most of my next time. single off the CD, what's what's it going to be? Do we know? It's a secret. Yeah, we've already we've already chosen, and it's going to be. Did you guys hear that? Just pick that, just pick that one up. <laughs> Uh, yeah. We ha we have somewhat shows in the second single though, but right now we're just kind of still enjoying trenches and you know the success we've had from it, and uh, obviously not getting too high on the highs or low on the lows. But we're excited for the rest of the album entirely. You know, people have been enjoying it. We've had a lot of great reviews, and we're excited to play the songs live. So it's been a great time. I was thoroughly impressed when I saw you guys. I think it was a year and a half ago in Rochester. You opened up for Drowning Pool, uh, and I and I I was blown away by you guys. And I had gone back and said to my boss, "I'm like, we got to get these guys in town because they their their live show is killer. I mean, it was just awesome. And we had you guys at the end of Summer Bash last year, and you guys tore down the place with Royal Bliss. It was so awesome, and we look forward to having you guys back uh, in Lacrosse soon. I know you're going to Sturgis. Is this your first time at Sturgis for you guys? This is our third time. Second Ooh. time at Blue Chip. Uh, third time in Sturgis. Buffalo Chip. Buffalo Chip, yeah. Buffalo Chip, yeah. So that must 
be one hell of a party, huh? It's pretty awesome. I don't know if it was as wild as I expected it to be the first time we were there. I mean, it, there's a lot of people, but it's just so many people over so many acres of land that you kind of almost have to look. Like, we were kind of restricted to the bus and the stage because we couldn't wander a lot, but it was a lot of fun. Alice Cooper, the first time we played there on Buffalo Chip, was insanely good live. That was awesome. So we're definitely looking forward to going back. I'm sure Matt and I are going to try to find some rides and take off on get on two wheels somehow out there. Nice. Very nice. Well, thank you guys for coming in and hanging out with us. I appreciate it. Happy birthday, Matt. Thanks, and uh, enjoy the rest of your birthday celebration. Can we? Should we sing him happy birthday? Are you guys going to do that on stage? Is there some, quarter, some kind of shenanigans planned? Nope. <laughs> The shenan shenanigans happen off stage awesome. after the show. All right, late night shenanigans backstage when no one can see and there's no there's no evidence on Facebook or Instagram, right? right? Exactly. All right, thanks guys. Appreciate Thank it you. very much.